Trump breaking news. Trump wanting China to do great raises eyebrows, former President Trump's comments on Sunday, in which he said he wanted China to do great, were heavily criticized in a flood of internet reviews. As many had accused him of doing during his first term, the former president denied starting a new trade war with China during a taped interview that aired last week on Fox News Sunday Morning Futures with Maria Bartiromo. He is seeking re-election in November. Furthermore, despite his frequent anti-China statements elsewhere, he emphasized his desire for the East Asian nation's success, keep your mouth shut on the trade war. I accomplished a lot with China, Trump said. I really hope China does well. Not to mention how much I admire President Xi Jinping. During my term, he was a close friend of mine, but he did promise to reimpose tariffs of more than 60% on goods manufactured in China, his statement, the former president emphasized the importance of taking action. A flurry of online reactions ensued in response to these comments made by Trump, who was widely considered the frontrunner for the Republican presidential nomination in 2024. Many users pointed out the apparent hypocrisy in light of Trump's anti China rhetoric and history, as well as his claims that Joe Biden is too accommodating to the competing superpower. On X, previously Twitter, the official Republicans against Trump account stated, America last, flipping the script on the former president's often repeated American first slogan. Even Maria Bartiromo is shocked by Trump's praise for President Xi, stated the account for American Bridge 21st Century, a liberal super PAC, in an X post, in addition to saying that he anticipates Chinese interference in the 2024 presidential race. The same account went on to comment on additional remarks made by Trump during the interview. Trump claims he believes she and China would meddle in the upcoming presidential election, following his support for them. Who is this person representing? Seriously, Newsweek requested a comment from Trump's staff over email. Trump personally made millions from the Chinese government while president and has since coincidentally hinted that he would not order a U.S. military intervention against China were it to attack Taiwan, the popular Democrat ex-user Jojo from Jurors wrote, citing recent reports that Trump's businesses received millions in payments from various nations, including China, while he was president, but OK. She remarked. The ads write themselves, wrote lawyer Bradley P. Amos implying that Trump's detractors can utilize the comments to their advantage in campaign advertisements. In a prior interview with Bartiromo, he avoided directly answering the question of whether the United States would back Taiwan in the case of a Chinese invasion if he were to be re-elected president. His most recent remarks regarding China follow those remarks. The focus instead shifted to Trump's grievances with Taiwan's semiconductor industry, which he said was siphoning off American orders. Criticism and concern were generated by the comments, Democrats and Biden are often called weak by Republicans when it comes to dealing with China. Many Americans see this East Asian country as our greatest global rival, and lawmakers and military experts alike freely voice their fears of a potential conflict with Beijing. Pictured above is a photo of then-President Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping from their November 2017 meeting. Many were taken aback by Trump's recent remarks regarding his desire for China to do great on social media.